10 Biggest Scandals in Storage Wars History Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Screeny. The cast of Storage Wars is filled with shady individuals, so it doesn't come as a surprise that a few of them are secretly hiding a couple of skeletons in their closet. Let's take a look at the 10 biggest scandals in Storage Wars history. Before we reveal the nastiest secrets from the buyer's past, make sure to press the subscribe button. Number 10. Fake Porn There's not nothing, there's some stuff in here. What is that? Empty! You don't even have to film porn to be accused of being in one, and that's exactly what happened to Brandy Passante. Hunter Moore, the founder of the infamous revenge porn website Is Anyone Up, claimed he had a video of Brandy getting hot and heavy with some random guy, and she was furious after hearing about it. The Storage War star filed a defamation lawsuit against Moore, asking for $2.5 million in return for causing damages to her reputation. The judge felt Brandy was asking for too much and she walked away with a paltry $750. Moore was also directed to take down all the videos and photos in question. Despite the fact Brandy wasn't featured in any of them, they caused significant emotional distress because many people believed it was actually her. Brandy's lawsuit didn't lead to a satisfying conclusion, but Moore eventually faced justice for being a horrible human being and self-proclaimed professional life ruiner. Is Anyone Up was taken down, and he faced two and a half years in prison for cybercrimes he committed while running this dreadful website. Number 9. Raising a Murderer Storage Wars spawned several spin-offs, but they weren't the success stories the network was hoping for. One of them even fell apart before it aired, because one of the stars had a convicted murderer in the family. Shortly after the first season of Storage Wars Miami premiered, viewers learned Kevin Pugh was hiding some dark family secrets. His fun Hashim had been charged with murdering a young woman shortly after Storage Wars Miami started airing on the A&E network. The tragic incident took place at a viewing party for his dad's new show, as the victim in question was a family friend called Janelle Hamilton. He used a gun that was stolen from a previous burglary to shoot this young woman in cold blood, and it never became clear why. His father wasn't able to recover from this scandal, and his show was cancelled after 10 episodes. It was never confirmed this decision was related to the murder trial, but it's possible people stopped tuning in after reading about it. Number 8. Dave's Allegations Imagine spending years trying to hide dozens of dirty secrets, and then having them all blow up in your face in a matter of seconds. That's probably how the producers of Storage Wars felt after Dave Hester filed a lawsuit against them, accusing them of staging the whole thing. The mogul decided to sue the network for wrongful termination after being fired from the show and used this opportunity to air all of their dirty laundry in public. Hester filed a lawsuit because he believed A&E was de frauding the audience and rigging the contest in an unlawful manner. The list of his accusations was pretty long and it revealed several juicy scandals that were brewing behind the scenes. A former cast member claims the producers were planting valuable goods in the storage units to make the show more interesting. Some of those items even belonged to the buyers on the show who were essentially bidding for stuff that already belongs to them during a staged auction process. To make the whole thing even more ridiculous, the network executives did didn't deny any of this and still won the case, while Hester returned to the show later on. Number 7. Throwing Punches Things often get pretty heated on the set of Storage Wars, and we're not talking about bidding battles between buyers this time around. Two of the cast members got into a physical fight on one occasion, and things got so bad that the production of the show was halted for a bit. We wouldn't be surprised if something like this happened between buyers bidding for the same locker, but one of the participants in the brawl was actually the auctioneer, Dan Dotson. He started yelling at Dave Hester after being told he missed a bid by Mary Padian, and even threatened he's going to kill him at one point. Hester decided to fight back by punching Dotson in the face, and things escalated from that point on. Laura decided to protect her husband by jumping onto Hester's back and scratching him up so hard that he ended up in the hospital. Security eventually broke things up, but the tensions were running high every time Hester and the Dotsons crossed paths in the future. Number 6. Yup, Lawsuit 
The producers of Storage Wars weren't the only people Dave Hester took to court. The reality star also got into a legal battle with the musician Trey Songs for the most ridiculous reason in the history of human existence. Both men spent their whole career using the signature catchphrase, yup, but Hester felt that no one but him should be profiting from it. The Storage War star wanted to ban songs from interfering with his use of the phrase and stop putting it on his merchandise. Hester's lawsuit contained a hilarious passage explaining the difference of their pronunciation. Fortunately, no judge had to listen to this nonsense, since the two men decided to settle the whole thing in private. It's unclear what kind of agreements they made in the end, but it seems like they're sharing joint custody of the infamous word now. Number 5. Questionable Gift most people don't know this, but Barry Weiss is actually a godfather of the reality show star Jesse James. You know, that guy who was married to Sandra Bullock and had an affair with porn star Michelle Bombshell McGee at the same time? Yep that douchebag. James did a couple of more questionable things after cheating on America's sweetheart and had a public meltdown once the whole world learnt he was unfaithful. At one point, he was even spotted wearing a Nazi hat and doing the Sig Heil salute. What? Why would you do that? So what does any of this have to do with Storage Wars? Well, it turns out that the Nazi hat was a gag gift from his Jewish godfather. James claims the hat was part of a Halloween costume that he only put on as a joke. Weiss was the only one who could confirm his godson is telling the truth, but immediately denied any involvement in the gift. His new show was just about to air on A&E, and he didn't want to get mixed up in Jesse's mess. Spark Daryl Sheets into blowing his wad in an overpriced man cave, costing the gambler over three grand. Number four, pay cuts. Daryl Sheets is one of the biggest stars on this show, but it seems producers don't appreciate him as much as the audience does. The gambler even considered leaving Storage Wars at one point in time because the network tried to cut his pay by 50%. As if that wasn't enough, they were thinking about limiting his screen time to four episodes per season and bringing in new cast members who wouldn't ask to be paid $30,000 for a single episode. Daryl eventually had his way and stayed on the show, but his son Brandon wasn't so lucky. He was fired after nine seasons due to budget cuts. He was so furious after getting the boots that he slammed the network in a bitter Twitter rant. Brandon said he was grateful for the opportunity to be a part of Storage Wars, but wished he was treated more like a person. Sheets finished the rants by writing he has better things to do than be degraded by a show and people who simply do not care about others and their quality of life. Number 3. Jared's Dark Past You can't win if you don't play. Don't start giving me the more you know after school special the storage unit auction business sometimes attracts shady characters, and one of the biggest stars on this show just happens to be one. Jared Schultz has been hiding a couple of skeletons in his closet ever since Storage Wars aired, and it was only a matter of time before his criminal past came to light. It turned out Jared spent some time behind bars before he started buying abandoned storage units and running his own thrift store. Back in 1997, he was given a 60-day sentence after being arrested for felony possession possession of a controlled substance, narcotics transportation, and driving under the influence. Instead of learning his lesson right then and there, Jarrett had another run-in with the law only two years later. To make things even worse, he was busted for pretty much the same reason. Jarrett spent another 16 months behind bars after being charged for drug trafficking, parole violation, and driving under the influence once again. Being surrounded by criminals for such a long time helped him realize he's not a bad guy deep down and inspired him to change his ways after serving his sentence. Number 2. Mark Bellello's Death uh, Very aggressive bidders. Yes. Yeah, I've seen this guy before. His name is Mark Bellello, and he's been known for throwing some money around. Mark Bellello wasn't a part of the main cast, but he made quite an impression on viewers, especially after his legal troubles and sudden death made the headlines. The first time he appeared on Storage Wars, fans weren't aware he was secretly fighting personal demons. Bellello spent some time in and out of jail after being charged with three controlled substance felonies. These incidences took place in 2007, but the arrest didn't motivate Bellello to clean his act up and leave drugs for good. He was arrested once again.
again in 2013, this time for possession of meth. Bellello reached a point of no return after this incident and committed suicide just two days later. Number one, plastic surgery. Staying home sick would have cost me at least $30,000. Dave Hester made a lot of juicy claims in his infamous lawsuit, and he even stated that one of the female cast members went under the knife in order to create more sex appeal for the show. The worst part? The producers were the ones who requested and paid for this rumored plastic surgery. Despite the fact that this was never officially confirmed, fans immediately started speculating which female star was on the receiving end of this fully paid physical enhancement. They settled on Brandy Passante, who's the most prominent female cast member on the show. Even though the whole thing sounded completely crazy, some of the viewers felt this unethical and sexist move made sense from the producer's point of view. Ratings are all they care about, and convincing Brandy to get a boob job is one way to boost viewership. A majority of the fans who follow Storage Wars on a regular basis are men, and the network probably felt they could win them over by making one of the girls on the show more attractive. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content, and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.